Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast for 25th of uh, September 2020. If you want to, if do you like to support this channel, you will. You're welcome to uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell button if you want to see our newest videos. So today we're going to look at the Fang stocks, and we are going to start off by looking at Facebook. And as you can see, Facebook has uh, rallied quite nicely in today's session. We again retested, uh, retested the green line here, which is the 100 moving average, and we technically bounced from the 100 moving average. So we tested the 100 moving average twice, and at this point, I could imagine us going higher from here. It doesn't look like we're going through the 100 moving average, uh, something... Uh, significant has to happen at this point in order for us to basically break down from here. So at the moment we are trading between the 50 moving average, which is at um, which is at a uh, 260 level, and the 100 moving average, which is around 245 level. If we look at the technical indicators, it looks like the MACD is about to, uh, to turn around and we will have a crossing of the signal line indicating bullish momentum. Uh, not tomorrow, but uh, probably on Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Uh, we are quite oversold at this point, so uh, that, um, that is very, a good sign that we probably are at the bottom of this um, uh, price level and we will go higher from here if you look at the stochastic it is also pointing upwards so we cross this line we will probably have a bullish momentum to the upside we have we basically been uh, right at the bottom of the bullish bond yet but but um, we basically could go to the upside so uh, at this point it is favorable of of the of a of a bullish momentum from here. We have tested the fifty uh, two uh, no the hundred moving average twice and got rejected both times. So if we look at um, Amazon, Amazon had a growth of a zero point sixty percent today. So again, we are bouncing between these moving averages. Uh, the green line, which is the 100 moving average, is uh, the is support, and these two move, three and moving averages here, the 40, 20 exponential moving average, and the 50 moving average should also be resistant. So we had a nice rally. We gave back quite a lot of the of the of this uh, of this rally, um, and settled at uh, 3,019 uh, price level. Um, also here, if you look at the technical indicators, we are about to uh, hit the bottom of this um, uh, of the MACD and are going to most likely turn around within the next uh, two to three trading sessions. We'll have a crossing of the signal line and we'll, we'll probably take off from there. Uh, we are not oversold. We are at 33 uh, at the moment. Uh, the momentum is to the upside in the stochastic. And, uh, well, the bullion Japan is not really saying anything at the moment. Just, but this is a positive sign. This is also very encouraging. And uh, for the next two trading days, we will have a, you know, probably a crossing here, a bullish uh, moment to the upside. So maybe go and test this 100 moving average again. I don't expect it to break as... We did test it uh, four days ago, and yeah, uh, we most likely bounce from there. So we look at Apple. Apple also, we have not gone all the way down to this level as we did for Facebook and uh, for Apple, not for Amazon. So I did expect us to go uh, all the way down to the 100 moving average, which is now around uh, $98. At least $100 I expected to go down to. But we did rally quite nicely. We went uh, close to the 50 moving average. And that looks like uh, like we have a quite a bit of support here. Not resistant here in these averages. Um, if you look at the technical indicators, they are pointing basically to upside. We, are, we were quite oversold. Now we're not oversold. 
Um, momentum is to the upside and also the stochastic. This can turn around. If you look at the weekly chart, it is uh, much more negative. Uh, so uh, I do expect us probably to go lower. Maybe, yes. Well, I would definitely be a buyer if we went all the way down to the 100 moving average because I don't expect this to uh, to manage to break the 100 moving average. Um, 50 moving average looks like significant resistant and 50 and the 100 moving average here at 98 should be significant support. So if you look at... Uh, look at Netflix, Netflix ran into uh, resistant at the uh, 100 moving average. So, and at the moment we are actually trading underneath the 100 moving average. So we may see uh, Netflix fall further than this. Um, technical indicators for the weekly is quite negative. Uh, if you look at the daily, that should be uh, also really negative. So. Expect Netflix to fall uh, further. We went all down, all the way down to 458. We may go down to this purple line here, which is uh, 150 moving average, which is at uh, 442. Um, MACD is also looking quite negative. Um, and the Bulliger band, we may go all the way down to this area here. Uh, if we were to break through, uh, then we have these three moving averages above and they should be also quite significant uh, resistant so at 490 level so lastly we have google it rose today nearly a percentage uh, it has tested twice this 200 moving average uh, and it has bounced every single time so um, this may be the bottom for for Google, it also also historically we have tested this uh, 150 moving average, which is right underneath the 200 moving average. Uh, previously, uh, three times here, one, two, three, and this is basically uh, the fourth time we are here. So we may this may be the bottom, and from now on we will go higher. If you look at the technical indicators, we are way oversold. And the stochastic is basically not showing. We have crossed the signal line and we may go uh, from now to the upside. Uh, MACD is, uh, is really far away. You can see the histogram. We're really far away from the signal line. So it may take uh, probably two, three more trading days before we cross the signal line, indicating bullish momentum again in this market. Um, but at this moment, this should be significant support and it will probably trade within this area of the uh, 100 moving average and the 200 moving average for the, for, for the next few trading days. So uh, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button and uh, good luck trading and thank you very much.